In this video, we're looking at famous singers covering other famous singer songs amazingly. Here we got Jews by Lizzo, which is the original. I love this production. I thought that was a disgusted O at first. Yeah, I, like, I, thought, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have a cover. It's Harry Styles. You say I'm not the baddest. You He's doing it 70s style, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What are you guys' thoughts? I really like the production of the original. The other one is like a live lounge thing, which the live lounge stuff, I'm not usually a huge fan of. It was fine. It was a cool twist. I think her vocals serve the song a little bit better. I'm gonna go original. I feel like it just gels so well with her. And it's just, well, I mean, it's obviously made for and by her. I say original. And my criteria for this one is that I believe that I bobbed my head more. Here we got the original Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo. Really help. Now you can be a better man. Is this a promo for that weird phone? Galaxy Flip or whatever Why it's called. are these men have these phones with the camera on directed there? It does feel like it symbolizes something weird. Uh. Well, I guess she didn't approve. She did take the phone from him. Oh. That's my phone, Mitt. It's my Galaxy Tab or whatever. <laughs> Galaxy. Maybe the flip. cover will take it for me because I've never been a fan of this original song. I like it. Like, I think her vocals are good. Here we got the cover Good For You by Camila Cabello. Oh, she's leaning into the whole like Cuban thing. That's so, I yes. love that. That makes me want to see her live. If she does this type of thing live, I'll go and see her. That's lit. <laughs> it's great. It reminds me of. Uh, Encanto. Feels like the Encanto cover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a bit Encanto. <laughs> oh, nice breaks there. I spent the night crying on the floor of my bathroom. So unexpected, I really don't get it. But good for you. I'm leaning cover just because it's different and fun. I feel like the lyrics kind of like need the aggression. But for the purposes of this video, I think that I like the cover better. I really enjoyed the cover. So I'm going cover. I think they're kind of equal to me. And I think that is enough for the cover to win. I'm Joel from Room Official, by the way. I'm here with Jonas and August. Let's keep watching some covers and originals. Do you think so? I think so. No. I think we should talk a lot <laughs> about me. Hang up. Here we got Can't Stop Loving You by Phil Collins. Ooh, that hair. <laughs> the hair in the back is killing me. That's awesome. Awesome. That is a good <laughs> song, though. I listen to this all the time. Cause I can't stop loving His voice is just so nice. It's really nostalgic. This is shot on like interlaced footage, you can see, with the lines, the yeah, horizontal yeah. lines. And uh, first generation iPod there. Ah, awesome. Oh, that's a good person to cover that song. I was I can't stop loving you. Oh, this is like a Alphaville Forever Young take on the song. Yeah. Or like Enya. Stop loving you. I love the reverb. Oh, she delivers those lyrics really nice. I want to compare if I can find the up tempo version, the endings of them. Because the cool parts about both these songs are kind of like the climaxes, I feel like. Stop loving you. It's very chill. It's the same plus harmonies. So the cool thing about the Phil Collins one is just because I know that song so well. In his climax, it becomes this thing with um, horn hits on the twos and fours. Drum fill. That's a Joel drum fill. That's a classic fill. Classic fill fill. Phil Collins, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Where are you guys leaning? I'm good with Phil Collins here, to be honest. I do appreciate the contrasting cover. Like, yeah. I like that she yeah. took it, like, really calm when the original has more groove in it. But I'm just a lot more in love with Phil Collins' voice here and the groove on this song. I like the cover, but I can't stop loving the original. <laughs> oh! Here we got the original Time After Time by Cyndi Lauper. Let's have a listen. This is such a great song, and uh, there's a lot of covers that are better than this, though, because I don't, I don't love the vocals in this original. David Bowie approach. Here we got a cover by Sam Smith. Oh, oh that's great. 
and fall I just like when things are well produced. <laughs> yeah. Their voice sounds fits really well with his melodies. Yeah. That was beautiful. I'm leaning Sam Smith here. I agree. I actually disagree, guys. <laughs> I cannot believe you. No, <laughs> the mix was awesome, but it lacked the drive and the vibe from the original there. I'm going original. You're wrong. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm, we're putting it down on cover. <laughs> hey, we got the original Holy by Justin Bieber. Can I just say, though, Justin looking hella dapper in that picture. Mm. <laughs> no, no. Because <laughs> the way that the sky opens up when we touch it, it's making me say that the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. I do enjoy really dry, good vocals. Sounds great. I like this song. Ooh. Hey, we have a cover by John Bell, and, and I think he's the writer. I can't explain the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Swagger. I like this. Hey, everybody. Oh, God. Run it to me. I'm the like a track star. Can't wait another second. The way you hold me home. I like this. This is awesome. I'm going cover, hands down. Yeah, I got goosebumps. I'm gonna go cover as well, at least for the purposes of the video. I think both of them have their merits, but it's always cool when a cover's that good. It's probably written like almost for his voice. I do think that the way it was tracked in the Bieber version, the da -da 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 with a short little staccato things were really lit. It's not the same. It's hard to do that live. They're basically doing a gospel thing here. Okay, here we have an original Until I Have You by Lil Pitchy. Let's have a listen. This is a good song for sure. I love this. I like his falsetto. Like it's it's like a it's good tone. It has a bit of a legend vibe to it. Yeah, <laughs> legend vibe. <laughs> Let's not go overboard here, guys. And here we got a cover by August Grian. Never heard of this guy. We're so perfect through and through. We are far beyond potential. More of an amateurish vibe. Yeah, it's terrible. The chords are a little bit weird. I have so much to say. I feel like it sounds like he's merged uh, Free Fallen and. Uh, oh yeah, that that's what it sounds like. Yeah, right. <laughs> some, some some muscle memory. I'm leaning original here. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> but I think you should click the link in the description to find the original. Let's keep going. Here we got Heather by Conan Gray, the original. She's got you mesmerized. Well, now this is my kind of voice, boys. Why would you ever kiss me? I'm not even half as pretty. That's dope. And here we have a cover by Tate McRae. Why would you ever I love those falsetto flips. Breathiness flips, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think when people do covers, especially if they're pretty fast recorded, some of their vocal quirks get accentuated. Like maybe you don't like work out the exact nuance of what you want to do. Tate McRae has a bit of a baby voice thing going on. And I think it got a bit too much here for me personally. I'm leaning original. I'm going cover. I'd never heard this song before. Before, so I'm hearing them both for the first time. I like her nerve in her voice. It's difficult. I think I prefer the her genre, but I'm gonna say that I don't think she necessarily added enough to the song. I'm gonna go original. Oh, boo! Okay, we have Golden by Harry Styles for the original. I remember this music video, but I, I don't know this song at all. I'm not sure I've heard this song. And here we have a cover by Aurora. Ooh, Ooh she's so good at covers. This might be cool. But I can feel it take a hold. And I she kind of like the new Bjork or something. Of who I am and all I've ever known. She's a little like Bjork. She's a little feist. Mm. And a little Kate Bush. You're so golden. 
right, I'm leaning original here. Didn't speak to me too much, the cover. She did that other cover that was amazing, but this was not for me. I agree, I'm going original. When people write an entirely new melody, like she kind of skipped over as well, all the da-da-da-da stuff, and You Are So Golden was not the same notes either. Some covers are just like, here's the same lyrics. Okay, here we got Stay by the Kid Laroi and Justin Bieber, the original. What's going on here? Is Kid Laroi standing on a box? I don't think he's that much taller than Bieber. It looks really weird. Kid Laroi 6'7", <laughs> Bieber 6'9". <six>, <laughs> <laughs> I am tired of it now, but I feel like it is the best pop song of this year. And here we have the cover by Girl in Red. Oh, this is interesting. The August remix. Yeah, the August what? remix. <laughs> what? No. I prefer the original, actually. I don't think this particular song floats in that style as well as in the original. I'm leaning original anyway, but it was one of those like, ooh, this is an interesting soundscape with another melody. <laughs> this would be cool. Yeah. Girl in Red, good effort, but you fucked up. I'm going to read. What? I have a problem with the Girl in Red song, and I just realized what it is. I think when you have a melody that's that straight, if it's too slow, all the groove that you can put in there disappears. Did you know that we post other exclusive content in other? social medias like TikTok, like fucking Instagram. Me and Chance are doing crazy stuff. You will love it. Screw you guys. I'm going there right now. Here we got Hello Scene by Boniver, the original. Let's go. Look at that. This is the ultimate lying in the bathtub song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, guys. I'm there. I'm in the bathtub. I can see it in front of me. This is one of my all-time favorite songs. It captures an emotion for sure. That's nice. Let's listen to Passengers cover. Trade off the highway are. thick with our I could see for miles, miles. This is so minimalist that every time like it goes quiet there, you're like, wait, did the song stop? <laughs> <laughs> I like the original better. I've like never heard this song before. Tess Bowie saying slow and interesting versus slow and boring. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cover. I think he did it really well. I think he captured the song, but I'm 100% original. Uh, we got something by the Beatles. <laughs> is it the song something? Or it's just like, ah, it's yeah. something by the Beatles. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just whatever Beatles. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> something in a style that shows me. Oh, this is called something? Well, you know yeah, oh, it's something in the way she moves, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we got the cover, Something by Billie Eilish. I don't want to leave her now. You know I believe in Cool. This is amazing. She is so good at like mumble singing or whatever, like very soft singing. She has every nuance down on that. For this, I can say cover. We didn't get to hear the original original, but I think that's good enough for it to go to the cover for me. I agree. I feel like the new generation has totally missed out on the Beatles because they blocked everything online. And here we have original Lay Your Love On Me by ABBA. I love ABBA. Look at him. This is probably my favorite ABBA song. That arrangement's sick. Do, 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 do. And all has I think it is some of the best arrangements ever. Yeah. That was stuff. Yeah. It really is. My inner sweet comes out. You know what's funny is that ABBA predated Max Martin and everything that had an international music career and their lyrics are like good, like they make sense. And then you have like Max Martin kind of comes like in the next generation and totally messes up all the lyrics for like yeah. 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and the, all the labels were okay with it. Oh yes, this is great. Yes, hit me baby one more time. Yes, Lay Are Your Love On Me by Zara Larson. Cover. Ooh. I like the vocoder. 
Yeah, it's cool with the vocoder. What's it for, though? The vibe isn't cool enough. It's not high energy enough to actually be like, yeah. It doesn't have the emotional payoff of the original, and it's not cool in the way that that sort of production usually feels cool. So I'm a little bit confused. Lay like, especially with that 11 chord here, it kind of kills the tension. You want tension in this type of beat, right? I'm going original. Unfortunately, it fell short. She's an amazing singer, but the original is much better. Here we have A Case of You by Joni Mitchell. Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine. It tastes so bitter. My legend. And so sweet, oh, I would drink a case of you. It's such a nice, fragile voice when she's up there. Still be on my feet, or I would still be on my... Sounds natural. She's got that kind of like Ed Sheeran quality of very believable lyric delivery. I mean, more like Ed Sheeran has her quality. And here we have a cover by Prince. In my blood, I know the wine is so Like, how much vocal effects do you want? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally impossible to understand to me, <laughs> like, musically. I, I don't know what was going on at all. I've never heard such chill chaos before. It's like, because it's not, it's not really chaotic. It's like someone speaking another language. Where are you guys leaning? Original. The original is the best. Here we got the original Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. Oh, this is faster than I remember. It is good. This is the song that I found her uh, on, I think. Nice. And here's a cover by Alicia Keys. Oh, they're like opposite singers, I feel like. I'm scared. Okay, she's doing the Billie Eilish thing. Never falling from quite this high, falling into those ocean eyes. But worse. Those ocean Oh, that was cool. The last thing. That sounded just off pitch for me. But I think I was like on purpose. Like, oh. <laughs> 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 but I liked yeah, it. I was like, yes, now I'm going to do that thing. My signature move where I sound sh <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ella's just a great singer. Someone's saying Joel Loki hates her voice. Not true. But that type of singing is Billy's specialty. And she's going for the same thing. I agree. She's just doing the same thing, but worse. <laughs> I mean, it sounds harsh, but I mean, she has her own thing that Billie Eilish cannot touch. I hate to always go to this song with Alicia Keys, but Billie couldn't do like Empire State of Mind or whatever. Click here for the last video in this series. Today's score is 10 for originals and 4 for covers. Covers in the beginning were really killing it. And then just goes to show that being original always counts more. Be yourself. Walking the road less traveled can be lonely, but it will take you to the real destination. <laughs>